Hello, my name is Edward Blanche and this is the first video in a series looking at controlling your visual effects in game engines through your modeling program. These videos are going to focus mainly on 3ds Max as well as Unreal Engine and Unity. However, the general principles will really apply to any modeling program and any game engine. This first video is going to specifically look at some of the underlying concepts and terminology that I'm going to be using in the coming videos. So let's just start off with a really simple example of our queue. Now our queue, as everybody should know, is comprises of eight vertices that draw out the shape of a cube within our 3D space. And that cube then comprises of triangles. Each of those triangles are drawn to screen showing us the shape. So the important thing to understand is that information is carried into our game engine through vertex information. Each vertex or each point at the edges of our box carries all the information of our box. So within our, our model file, it will have a list of triangles and that list of triangles simply states which three vertex comprises that triangle. So if we look at our vertex, it tells us really all the information we need to know about our model and that information really controls how our game engine uh, treats our models and our objects. In this particular tutorials, we're really going to be focusing on how we can piggyback our own information within that vertex data so that we can control our effects. So I'm going to very quickly go through the underlying pieces of information that your vertexes have within your model file. So the first piece of information and the most obvious one is they contain position. Each one of the vertices on our cube in here, they're just represented by big red balls, contains the, their position in X, Y, and Z. This position is, equal to, is usually calculated from the zero position in your modeling program. Say if it's in 3ds Max, it'll be based on where zero is, and we call that the model space position. And typically if you go into Unity, that will be our pivot point for the object. As well as that, we have our normal direction. For this, we can think about this as the direction our triangle is facing in. So if we go look at this triangle, we can see that it is facing towards the camera and we can see it. However, if I go and select our face and flip it, we can't see it anymore. And that's because 3ds Max is set to, well, I have set up 3ds Max not to render the side that is facing away from the camera. So, or the side, the back side of our triangle. So in this case, if the back side is facing us, we can't see it. And this is typically what you'll see in a game engine when you have a broken face or a face facing in the wrong direction. So along with that information, we also carry vertex color. Now this is something that tends to be a little bit underutilized in my opinion, and that is every single vertex can carry through with it a red, green, blue, and alpha channel that we can use to color something within game. As well as our vertex colors, we carry our UV coordinates. Now most of you should be familiar with what a UV coordinate is. We use it for our texturing. And that UV coordinate, we just click on our object up here. If we go into our UV editor, you can see that it's a set of two dimensional uh, coordinates that tell us where our object is on our texture map. So if we, ch if we move that object around, just a second, let's open up the grid. We can see how it's moving on our uh, texture face. Now it's important to remember that these points are just pieces of information telling us uh, say three numbers. Our U, our V, and our W. Now W is the kind of <laughs> secret third value. It's a third value that's carried in our UV coordinates that tends to be fairly rarely used. But I will show you one or two interesting things you can use that for. So it's important to remember here that we can actually carry multiple UV coordinates through with our vertex data. So in Unity 5 you can have up to four UV coordinates, and I think and my understanding in Unreal is that you can use more than four, but you can carry through quite a large number. So that kind of covers some of the just base information that carries gets carried in with our vertex. In coming 
videos, we're going to be looking at what other kind of information can we pass in using these inputs. And some of the examples that we'll be looking at are, are ways of finding how tall an object is by applying a UV coordinate to tell us how far away from the base, let's say, a tree's branches are. And we can also look at things like using vertex colors to carry information about thickness or, or lighting or color. There's lots of different little pieces of information that we can carry in within those specific vertexes.